Last week, business activities in Kampala downtown, particularly in Nabugabo, were paralyzed as some traders opted to close their shops in protest over various concerns regarding their business operation. That include issues to do with the tax policies and their implementation. For example, the enforcement of electronic fiscal receipting and invoicing solution, IFRIS, which traders allege they lack sufficient sensitization about. The strike prompted the authorities to arrange a meeting between the traders and the president on Friday, which was unprecedentedly cancelled upon unknown reasons. Since then, the traders are threatening to resort back to peaceful protests starting tomorrow the 16th of April. While speaking to journalists today, Dr. Chizabes just stressed that the traders meeting with the president is a wrong attempt in addressing their plight because it's the prime source of their grievances. They had started an activity, then they had a rumor that Mr. Museveni was going to meet them. And they, <laughs> they, they said, okay, now, now we are going to get a, a solution. They, they, they abandoned the activity. When they went, uh, he said, no, we don't know anything about you. Now they are back. <laughs> saying, no, nobody is caring about us, they are back. They are not, you cannot get a solution from the problem itself. How can you? <laughs> the problem is where they are going, where they hope they will get a solution. You can't. They don't get it up to now. According to Besige, it is not specific at the business community that is suffering the brunt of what he refers to as a crisis, but the whole country is immersed in the shackles of unfair government policies. This crisis in business will not go away and is not limited to business. It is across the board of the country. Everybody is on the wall. Whether you are a farmer, including even the cattle, cattle keepers, they are on the wall because no Akari side works, no uh, medicines are all fake, and you, you end up with the disease problem that we have in the animal industry, foot and mouth disease, I don't know ECF, I don't know which ones, or uh, crippling the animal industry. It is on this ground that invited the traders and other change interested groups to join and make a collective effort to change the political leadership of Uganda, as he explains. For business, Ugandan business, to benefit Ugandans, in a meaningful and sustainable way, there has to be a change of the system. It's not just saying now we are forgiving you this, today we are doing this, you know, this tinkering around the edges. We will not solve these problems. This is why I invite the business community and all other elements of organized groups in our country, whether they are farmers' association, whether they are, uh, you know, uh, entertainment industry, whatever you are engaged in, we all need to link up and change the system. The system must be overhauled completely. A system that depends on a partnership between a family and foreigners. That's the system that controls our country. Partnership between a family and foreigners must end. And it won't end by just having a meeting. We must all unite. We must all take a collective decision together to say enough is enough. Joseph Kabal, UCTV News.